Okay, got a scatter diagram for 13 students in a practical part and a theory part of a test. Table of so two more students, let's take it up to 15. So 50 practical, so go across 50, that's easy. Up to 34, check the scale, yes, each little square represents one, so that's nice and easy. Go up 50, and it's 30, and it's 34 there. Done that one, and then 33, 28. So 33, 28 is there. Done that bit. The pass mark for the test are 40 in the practical thing. So if you get 40, you pass. And 30 in the theory test. So that's theory, 30. So how many people, how many people passed and then what percentage of passed both? So how many people passed? Well, they would be that one passed because that's got 40, just scraped past, but got 40. One, two, three, four. Four passes out of 15 and lots of working out percentage fraction you times that by 100 and the answer will be in percent and that gives me 26.666 and it's got to be correct to the whole number so that will be 27 percent who who passed drawn a line of best fits on the graph so it's going to go something it hasn't got to go through the origin i'll draw it probably doesn't something somewhere around about there doesn't matter as long as you draw it in there so i've done it i've got a mark hannah scored 48 in the practical but missed so 48 in practical so that means i need to go up the 48 from the practical and then go across and according to mine it's 35 that's an estimate of things but it need to draw, and that should be done with the ruler but need to draw in the line there to to show that you've actually used your line of best fit and it may not be right well she may be she may be better or worse at theory uh, so maybe better at theory than she is at practical um, anyhow that's 18 done